In this video, we're looking at an example of a tax sales cover letter. Um, I'll walk through this cover letter paragraph by paragraph and explain um, why we chose the wording that we did. We'll also look at some tips and tricks for tax sales cover letters in general. And then at the end of the video, I'll show you how to download this exact template in case you wanna use this cover letter. You can keep a lot of the wording the same as long as it's true for your experience and then just make small edits in the areas where we have um, specified to customize the cover letter for your own experience. But let's just start out at the top um, of the cover letter. This part is pretty basic, but it's important because the formatting is really clean um, and it has a very professional look. So it's definitely good to use a template um, anytime you are making a cover letter because you want the recruiter or the hiring manager to get that sense of a polished or professional appearance whenever they open up either your cover letter or your resume. So the main benefit of the top part of this cover letter is just that the formatting looks really good. And then in terms of the rest of the cover letter, there's really nothing special about the formatting. Um, it's just pretty straightforward text, but the important part is what's included in each of these paragraphs in terms of um, what you're talking about and the information you're including in the cover letter. So in the first paragraph, you're basically just saying that you are applying for um, a certain position at a certain company. And then as you get into the second paragraph, we've included some of the buzzwords that a tech sales recruiter is really looking for in terms of sales, customer, communication, writing, phone, video, cold calling, email outreach, prospecting, qualifying. These are a lot of the keywords that um, appear on a lot of tech sales job descriptions. I've actually personally gone through a lot of tech sales job postings on LinkedIn for like sales development representative, business development representative, and account development representative to figure out what are the most common requirements and keywords that appear on those job postings. And I've specifically customized this cover letter to um, match a lot of those keywords that are on the job postings. Um, and this paragraph is another example of that. So a lot of tech sales job postings, um, they say it's a plus or an added benefit that'll help your chances of getting the job if you have used um, these specific tech sales tools. If you've used a CRM like Salesforce or HubSpot, other popular popular ones are like Pipedrive or Zoho, but Salesforce and HubSpot are definitely the top two. Or if you've used prospecting tools like Outreach, LinkedIn, Sales Navigator, Zoom Info, um, there are other tools, but these ones in this paragraph um, are the most popular ones. If you've used tools other than these specific ones in this category, definitely feel free to include those as well. And then this is the paragraph where you'll be doing the most editing in terms of explaining you know your achievements in your recent roles you'll notice that this cover letter has a lot of white space down in this area but once you come in and edit this cover letter and add in the two to three sentences about your responsibilities and achievements um, in your recent experience the you're going to fill up more of that white space because this paragraph is actually going to end up being bigger and you might even split it into two paragraphs and then this ending paragraph is just um, you know expressing your excitement and your warm feelings about the opportunity to apply for this role. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, let's look at some of these tips and tricks here at the bottom. So if you do end up using this template, you can just follow these instructions for yourself in terms of how to customize the template um, for your own experience. In terms of some um, tips, Cover letters are not as important as your resume. So cover letters are oftentimes optional. Um, if you aren't really interested in the company that much or it's not one of your highest priority companies, I might even recommend skipping the cover letter for those companies. Um, but for the companies that you're really interested in, like the 10 jobs that you really want, then those are the ones where maybe you wanna write, um, take some time to actually write a pretty detailed cover letter. Um, and then one, just one kind of, um, extra tip is that you have if you think like the recruiter they look at hundreds of these um and so i think a lot of recruiters get in the habit of just opening these and then they they kind of just like look at them for a few seconds and then scroll uh, past them or go on to the next one so if you can 
add a little bit of humor or a little bit of character or something um, a little interesting without going uh, on the side of being unprofessional or spammy or clickbaity, you know, that might, you know, catch a recruiter's attention to be like, you know, this is somebody that I want to invite to an interview. And then um, the lastly, the last thing here, but this is actually, I think the most important, when I mentioned earlier that I've personally gone through some tech sales job postings um, and looked at what is in common in the requirement sections and all these job postings for entry level tech sales roles, these are the things that I found in common. So, you know, experience working in sales, experience with those sales tools we mentioned before, business development, tech company, startup, and then of course, writing abilities, phone skills, communication skills. These are like the most common things that um, appear in tech sales job postings. So when writing a cover letter, you want to emphasize those things because that's what the recruiter is going to be looking for in terms of your fit for the job. Also, a lot of um, companies and recruiters just use AI to scan resumes and cover letters now. So you definitely want to include the keywords that those um, um, AI tools are looking for um, in your cover letter. Now, if you would like to use this cover letter and just edit it with your own information and use this for your own tech sales job search, you can access this template on our website. So our website is breakintotechsales.com. And then you just go to templates. It's one of the buttons here in the top bar. You can see we also have a resume template. This here is our cover letter template. You can say, click on this button. It says click here to purchase cover letter template. It's five bucks. You'll get um, the cover letter that I was showing you exactly as a PDF. Uh, a Microsoft Word file and a Google Docs link, depending on how you want to edit it and customize it for yourself. When you click add to cart, it just takes you to gumroad.com, which is the um, service we use to process our payments. So yeah, that's how you get the, um, the template that we were walking through in this video for yourself um, to edit and use for your own tech sales job search. The last thing I'll say is if you had to choose between your resume and your cover letter template in terms of what to spend more time and energy on, you should definitely pick your resume. Don't spend too much time obsessing over your cover letter. Your resume is definitely more important. It's the thing that the recruiter is gonna spend more time um, looking at and checking to see if you meet the requirements of the role. Um, so if you had to choose between one of these two templates, I would recommend you know going with the resume just because that's more important. Um, or you can get both. Um, the formatting is consistent between both. So if you do put both in an application, it'll look really clean in terms of your formatting being the same between both documents. But hopefully that was helpful. Um, the last thing I'll say is if you are looking for a job in um, tech sales, definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel. Um, pretty much all we talk about is tech sales. We talk about how to interview, how to find jobs, um, how to apply even some tips for how to be successful as you start your career in tech sales. So um, definitely subscribe. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you later.